Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I'm actually pretty excited about this. This was a collaboration between somebody that uh, many of us know, uh, definitely somebody I know, and uh, Kaiser. So I don't know if it's available right now. If, it's, if it is, I will absolutely link it right down below. If it's not, I'll link any information that I possibly can so you guys can check out whatever you can check out. Thanks so much to my generous patrons for supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Thanks so much to Colorful Filth for sending this in for me to take a look at. You can check them out on Instagram. I'm hoping there's some information here that I can just show on camera so you guys know exactly where to go. And we have this right here. Um, yeah, Colorful Filth, spelled exactly, exactly as it sounds, whoops, um, on Instagram. Ah, there is a note. Good. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, MC. Thank you for taking the time to check out the comment. It's not a huge knife, but I hope it is cool enough to keep around. It's pretty crazy, but I uh, sent you a knife. I sent you a knife. Um, I put a design on, and now I'm sending you something <laughs> I designed from scratch. <laughs> That's true. Uh, this entire experience has been incredibly surreal, and I appreciate you being a part of it. I uh, can't wait for you to hit 200K, <laughs> Paul. Uh, thanks so much, Paul. Yeah, that's the gentleman behind Colorful Filth. Make sure you follow him. Cool. All right. Okay, so this is his design um, with, yeah, with uh, Kaiser. Interesting. So we have, that's good looking. The combination of the micarta and the uh, copper bolster there. Oh yeah, nice. And then we have 154 cm on a pretty elongated. It's like a, a very elongated clip one. I don't know if I want to call that Persian. Boy, that is freaking smooth. <laughs> Look what we've got here: a liner lock, which is wonderful. That is really smooth, very smooth. Oh yeah, just take a little, little tiny bit for for a blade that's so light and and fairly short. It is extremely smooth and we have a titanium a milled titanium clip that's a nice clip i feel like it's a little bit long um and then this is a smaller guy but it's it's reasonably comfortable we have a flipper tab that is curved in here so while it's it's definitely there's some jimping in there you can feel it's not an aggressive you know witch's nose coming down on your index finger but yeah it's a good looking knife for sure um and i just think that it's cool that it was designed by um, you know, somebody who uh, we all know pretty well, actually. Uh, some milling uh, weight reduction on the inside there on the liners. Really not just, I know I've said it, but the contrast here between the micarta and the, and the uh, copper scales is really cool. And then we also have a, is that a micarta pivot collar as well? So some nice details. Given that this is micarta, copper, steel liner lock, titanium clip, and 154 cm, I'm gonna guess that this is not, and just knowing Kaiser, I'm gonna guess that this is not going to be a horribly expensive knife. The action's very good, and the detent is also tuned very well for the weight and mass of the blade. Very nice. The uh, tip here, let's take a look. That tapers down to a pretty needle-like tip, definitely. Um, down to the cutting edge, reasonable taper down to, I would say, a medium thickness. It's not a horribly thick or horribly thin cutting edge. Nice thumb ramp there, definitely. You can almost get, here's where, if I push my index finger where it's still comfortable, but right up against that flipper tab, this much of my pinky is hanging over there. So almost a full four finger grip. I'll tell you that, I mean, it's a, it's a somewhat generic liner lock. It just has its own shape. Uh, definitely, truthfully, I have my own, you know, memories of Kaiser flippers and things like that. And a lot of the Kaisers that I've experienced that I really like were not flippers. They were thumb stud deployers or they were thumb hole deployers or front flippers or whatever. Flippers in the past have been kind of okay from them and maybe it's that just that I haven't handled one in a long time. But this is tuned very well. And that's, I mean, as it should be, if you are, um, you know, gonna have one deployment option for the knife, that needs to work really well. And this does, here's push button. And then we can do a light switch. I honestly don't think I can fail this. No, 
That's about as light as I can push it. Yeah, I'm trying to get it. Now that's about as light as I can put it. I don't think you can you can fail it. Um, we are centered. That's wonderful. And your carry depth. Look at that. He got it out of the way of the lanyard hole, which is definitely there. Lanyard people don't fret. Uh, carry depth is about right here. Yeah, really. My only my only complaint is probably the length of the pocket clip, but because it's flat and these corners are knocked down, um, it's really not a hot spot. I kind of feel like I kind of wish that the pocket clip would well. You probably can't do a pocket clip in copper, though. You probably, I mean, it'd be like it'd have to, you'd have to, like, coat it, which would, <laughs> you probably wouldn't want the pocket clip made out of copper. So I guess I can understand there. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. So this is not a review. This is just an unboxing and first impressions. I will absolutely review it, though. So you can expect a full review coming two to three weeks down the road. Make sure you guys uh, follow Colorful Filth on Instagram. And uh, like I said, check out the links down in the description for more information or where to buy this if it is available. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.